Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Bush Gardens Tampa here from We the Coasters. This is Dylan checking in here today, here on a beautiful sunny day on a Saturday, of course. Uh, crowds are going to be heavy, I can already tell, with the parking lots already being filled. The main where you see the uh, the main main parking lot, and then the regular parking lot also being filled. They're using the back area. So I guarantee you it's going to be a sold out crowd. Ironic enough, today is an interesting day because of the fact that reservations are no longer required at Bush Gardens, which to be general, I mean, they kind of, you know, weren't paying attention the last few months, probably five or six. But today is the end of the reservation system. No more needed. So you can just come to the park whenever you need to, though. So that's a good sign, at least. Also being for today being July 17th, 2021, it is absolutely hot as well. Uh, it's about nearly 11 o'clock and you can tell this is why the crowds are kind of packed. It's so packed where even the trolley, the tram here is even more crowded. So that's why I'm choosing to do the extra bit of walking just to uh, get it out of the way. That is how crazy it is. So yeah, I can tell you there's gonna be a lot of long lines to do. Hopefully I'll get to do a few rides that one is able to do Thursday and we'll probably check in on what's gonna happen with uh, Cobra's Curse Maybe Iron Wise, depending if we figure out what's going to happen, at least get a look of it and kind of go from there. Also, I do want to point out, I was at Universal last Thursday, but I tried a different video setting that was on my camera here for the GoPro. Unfortunately, it did not work out well to the standards, mainly the fact that I tried to transfer it over to the computer and everything just kind of didn't work out. So I'll just leave it as that. I'm kind of bummed out on that because it was actually really good. I did want to mention during that part of that vlog, I got to do Velocicoaster at night, which was absolutely incredible. And I think as of right now, it's probably the best nighttime roller coaster I've ever been on, hands down. And it really changes a huge perspective. I uh, did it once in the front and once in the back during that time. And also, ironically enough, as of today, making this video, speaking of Universal, they actually hit 1 million rides, or 1 million riders, excuse me, uh, on that roller coaster. So. That coaster's been open for, what, a month now? Unbelievable. So, let's stop talking before getting into the park and go from there. So, they have this just in case for the summer crowds really kicking in. They got two ways to go in. They got the right side and they got the left side here. Doesn't matter where you choose, it still gets you in, but they have this just in case that the entrance is going to be in a massive overflow there. Especially getting through security. There in the distance, Iron Wazzy sitting. Pain. And just want to showcase real quick what was closed for today. Cobra's Curse still closed. We'll talk a little more about that, why it's closed when we get to the ride, but just showing right here. So, not going to be able to ride Sky Ride still. That sucks. No way to get through the line. That's a great sign, at least. So, let's go ahead and enjoy our day today at Bush Gardens Tampa. So as you know, when you walk into the park, there are two ways to go through. Go to the left, you head to what would be Iron Guazi, but mainly Zagora Cafe, and head over towards Chikra. Or you go to the right, which is where we're gonna go, and we're gonna head towards Cheetah Hunt and Mon 2. So we'll talk about Cobra's Curse also along the way as well, once again, return time for Cheetah Hunt. Already, from what I'm hearing, long wait time. Yikes. Also, I do wanna make a side note about Zagora Cafe. Lately, ever since when you walk into the park to get something to eat over here, it has always been slammed. And everyone kind of wonders, well, why is that the case? Well, it is the first place you walk into here. So in all fairness, that is exactly why. I have a feeling though, I may want to get something to eat first. So let's take a look what time they're actually open real quick. Well, it looks like I was proved wrong. They're already open. So eh, I may as well get something to eat here. I am already feeling hungry. So. I may as well get some meat first. So I just want to showcase what they got for food. So they have a half pound bacon cheeseburger for $14.99. They have an impossible burger for $14.99. Then they have chicken tenders for $12.99. A tender garden salad for $13.99. And a garden salad for $10.99. Then they also have for size mozzarella sticks, waffle fries, fresh fruit, then dessert, raspberry cheesecake, fresh baked goods. I'm over mainly for food. We'll take a look once we get a little closer to show the food, but mainly just a show and then all day dining. Uh, so it is one of the places to get it. 
get an entree, regular size beverage, or water, and a side reserve. So they had actually opened up the second line over on the left side of the Zagora Cafe right down there. And eventually they're probably going to open the middle one up very soon because they are preparing over there. So that tells you it is going to be packed. That's a very good sign because that also means they got a lot of people hired on the employee side, which is a great sign because if remember last time I came here, the, the food area had been a pain and issue. And I think that's just been in general for the park. So that's a great sign to see all together. And uh, you know, as a person who's a theme park enthusiast and all, that's great to see all together. I do want to show I got a chicken tender platter, mainly uh, chicken tenders, waffle fries, and drink. About 16, so that's mainly without the meal deal. I mean, it has its little parts, and thank goodness for the castle and discount, but pretty, pretty good to come to the store cafe every now and then. Not my preferred destination, but it's still good to come to. So I'm gonna enjoy my lunch, and we'll talk about this bad boy in a second. All right, so our lunch has been really, really good. And there you see, Iron Guad is sitting the station. One day it'll be running. Not now, but one day. Birds are out there and everything. But as far as what Iron Guad is concerned, now Bush Gardens has not publicly said anything, nor have they said anything about when it'll be open, what's going on behind the scenes. Now supposedly RMC has been working on just making sure everything's all good with the wood and steel. Make sure everything is keeping all fresh so that is a good sign that's progress as far as when it opens time will tell i don't know exactly when it will but we'll see what'll happen hopefully it will be sometime in october or something i'm not gonna put a you know like oh it's gonna open there no i'm, I'm just hoping it opens october if not it'll probably be march of 2022 maybe april we'll see it depends Come on, Bush Gardens, open this thing up. I know you want to. Help a buddy out here. But we'll see what happens. So be, be patient. That's all I got to say. I'll we'll probably be looking forward to riding Cheetah Hunt pretty soon. So I'll probably get a return time for that. Probably head to Montu. As I can already tell, the crowds are going to be a little chaotic for the rides. I can already see it happen. Summer Nights is going on today. This isn't open yet, it will be soon. So take a look what they got for special summer skewers. Low chicken on a stick. Crispy chicken breast, shredded trees, chives, smoky spicy ranch drizzle. Loaded corn dog bites. Fresh cut watermelon, blue lagoon, summer, sour, summer apple sour. Spark tonight. So that'll be open a little later on. While we got a return time for Cheetah Hunt, let's just go inside the Serengeti Overlook, which used to be the Crown Colony Plaza, just a rename, and uh, show you a few places over here. Oasis Pizza, Draft, draft Bar, just a few places that basically just got a refresh and a uh, new name and all. So let's go inside. So it's a good thing I came here, and this is honestly a first to not see it this packed. Then again, it is kind of early, so mainly this uh, sells pizza. Pepperoni and cheese, pepperoni $12.99, cheese $11.99, and a kid's meal $8.49, garden salad $10.99. And then this area right here used to be a very dark bar that was one-sided. Then they reconfigured it into a double-sided bar. And they said they had this main side over here where they normally have the people uh, serving the drinks. And then they open up this whole area over here. We got a Thunderbolt drink right there, which is vodka, blue, raspberry, lemon, and lime. And then just want to showcase this right here. Here, but 
They did a nice job over here. Also put some lights around here. And the main thing about this, you get an overlook of the Serengeti area. Now mainly just want to show Cobra's Curse right here. Now, this ride has been closed for four weeks. Probably asking, well, what happened in four weeks? So, or four weeks ago, I should say. Well, they needed a part from Mock Rides. They did not have it in time. And of course, the ride has been closed since. Just yesterday, though, they actually were testing it. You can see around there, one of the cars is over on the elevator lift hill area. And you can see there's a maintenance worker over in the backwards lift hill area right as you go into the free spin area. They do have workers over here, which means they will probably be resuming testing a little later on today. But that's at least a good sign to see. There are a couple of trains over in the shop over there. But honestly, that is a bummer how this ride's been closed that long. Good thing I got to do it before I uh, left to go to my trip there. So that is a good sign. So whenever this opens, we'll let you know. By the way, if anyone's wondering how long that wait time for Cheetah Hunt is right now, it is 120 minutes. So yeah, two hours of a wait. That was right when we also got into the park. So a bit of a yikes real quick. Let's actually go inside Cheetah Gifts real quick because I do need to pick up something over here. But just showcase around what's in the shop over here. So of course, before the moment you get into the ride, they have walkers right over here. They have them on this side and right as you enter through here, the exit of the ride will be over here. And they have shirts of all kinds over here. Ride photos. Swords, plushies. And of course, Camp Bush Guards without beer. Got park maps over here showing where you're at. Travel bags. You got iron gloves coming soon. We're missing fans. And of course, some concept art of Cheetah Hunt right over here. So they do not have what I have here as well, so that is a bummer. So I'm gonna try to go with this one. We got some work walls around where normally one of the haunted houses is for Hollow Scream, and you can tell they are already having early work on it. A little bit. You can see a little bit of it, not a whole lot, but just a little bit. They are doing some work, so that tells you Hollow Scream coming right around the corner. A couple months away to be exact. And of course, there you see right over there, Cobra's Curse is closed. They have a sign right there. Sucks we can't ride it. Like I said from earlier, they will probably be testing this a little later. So hopefully we get to see it. That'd be really good to see there. The best BM in the game, Montu. And right in the nick of time, even though we'll get a return time for Montu, Cobra's Curse is testing. That's a great sight to see right there. That means hopefully things should be ready soon. They are doing maintenances from what I've heard of and also a few other things along the way. So you're only having a couple cars on the track. So we'll get some, uh, some shots here when we can. The showcase is going around.
gonna take the train over from Nairobi to Stanleyville. And what's crazy is they got that queue set up for the summer too. Cause even coming here Thursday, that line was absolutely ridiculous. So good to see that it's not as crowded right now. So I'll take advantage of this. Same thing guys, hang out behind the white line for one.
are flowing on the right, that is the Taco River Rapids. So if you feel a little too overheated today, be sure you head over to the Taco area of the park to get on the Taco River Rapids. Chikra, and it's down right now. Crud. Time to head to Tigers to get her turn time. Just wanted to showcase here's the Ambu Smokehouse, which is down that way. So let's see what they got. We look carefully all day dining. It has jumped up on the price from 35 to 44. We want you to spend your money, I guess. And for those wondering what the weather, what's the line for the log flume like? Well, it's jam-packed. All the way near to the back of the line of the queue. And over to Kumba. Well, as I'm waiting in line to get a drink, Sheikr is doing a test run. So that means I'm probably going to wait on Kumba and probably head over to Sheikr right off the bat. So go figure. I would get a drink right now, but it is what it is. All right, got my return time for Sheikr actually just reopened. So we're going to go through Jungala because there's also another piece of news that's actually being worked on over in that area. Spoiler alert, it has nothing to do with the playground or the wild surge. It has to do with another part of Jungyal that's over in the area. So let's go in there and take a look. Bengal Bistro, which actually has been closed for some time, and people wonder what's going on in there. Well, see, the area has been boarded up, shut down and all, and permits have been filed for a Chick-fil-A to be over here. As far as when that will be starting and let alone when that will be opened that is to be determined but purpose has been filed for it so it looks like that will be a thing as far as when well again to be determined yeah this will be a chick-fil-a now instead of bengal bistro this actually used to sell chicken fingers ironic enough so said chicken fingers can be chicken sandwiches and all other things only downside it will not be open on sundays of course one ride is actually pretty good to see that i'm hearing again it is Kumba. A green piece of track that's right over here. We'll be able to see it go on by there in just a little bit as it's going down the hill right now. knowing that it's summer conger river rapids out the queue line all the way there long wait time and that it's got a 60 minute wait right now yikes so we did kumba just earlier gotta say first ride of the day took a while but we made it first off great ride felt great to be back on this again did row three was actually uh pretty good before it had a little bit of a rattle i don't know why but it just did and today was really really good also a bit of a side note i didn't get it in the vlog because i had my stuff in the locker but we actually met up with anthony uh anthony schwartz of that is actually over here, so you'll probably see his vlog uh, a little later. But overall, what a genuine dude he is. He's a big coaster enthusiast that's out there, and everything. So that was pretty cool. 
cool. And big shout out to him, man. Good luck this season in the NFL, my dude. Good luck. All right, got a return time for Tigers. As you see it going off, time to go ride. So just did Tigers. That's always fun. That's been a great, 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 great addition to Bush Gardens Tampa. Love it. Absolutely love it. What a ride. Oh, man. Time to head over to Sheeker. Just did Sheeker, as you see it has reopened and all. Great ride. Got to sit in the back row on the end seat. And here's a funny thing I've actually noticed. I don't know if people have noticed this for a while or this is more been recently, but... Has anyone noticed this bird up here? Like, I've never noticed this till now, and I've been coming here for a long time. It's kind of weird. Never really noticed it all. Well, if you hear all the birds chirping, that is being that we are at Lori Landing. So let's go over there. Have some fun with the birds. And never mind. Would like to say the obvious of jokes, but probably because of the copyright or trademark i guess you could say but look flamingos okay pink chickens you get what i was gonna say fall midway ma'am you'll understand also there's a peacock over there cool garden gate cafe and it is home to where you get the two free beers thanks to the tampa Bay lightning winning the back-to-back -back stanley cups so you can get two free seven ounce beers that will take play as we're gonna go inside right now. And of course, they have a couple beers to choose from in that matter. But as you can tell by the line, everyone is wanting their free beer. Champa Bay, baby, Champa Bay. Great to see they're bringing this back in some type of way with a great special too along the way. Iron Gwazi. There she sits still. I'll let it be for her. Pain. Now I will say, as I have went on Shikra, they did have both the trains of Iron Gwazi over in the uh, the brake station in the covering. So that's at least where the trains are at. But obviously, you know, not in the station of the area in here to head on to the track so but more back in that way over there so just wanted to showcase that from what i saw being on top of shikra and the views that i got from there just want to throw a bit of a side note remember earlier i mentioned how getting to Sagora cafe early on be a great idea yeah that probably was a very smart idea because they are both out of the extended queue and I'm amazed this middle area was open for a point and then it closed again. So I'm kind of confused on that, but who am I to judge? Good thing I ate here in the nick of time. All right, time to do Cheetah Hunt. So just got off of Cheetah Hunt not too long ago. Gotta say, ride was good. Great pacing and all that. However, it's the same complaint that I always have with the ride. Those restraints and even the seat even suck. Terrible. It'd be way better of a ride. They had better restraints and even a better seat. Because I guess for a person that's like me, being six foot six and tall and skinny, I wish it'd be a lot better. But eh, I mean, I'm not gonna complain a whole lot. That's the only asterisk I mainly have with Cheetah Hunt. It's still a great ride overall. I can't deny it. But at the same time, I wish they they would have better restraints. Like the ones they have for Maverick on that. That'd be great. Or, you know, make it to where people like me are going to be able to fit on properly. Come on, Intamin, do your work. All right, let's head on over to Montu to what will probably be our last coaster of the day, unless if by a miracle, Cobra's Curse is open, which I'm gonna throw a huge X right now, but yeah, I don't know, stranger things have happened before. Yeah, Cobra's Curse still down. Someone getting excited. But uh, Cobra's Curse is still down. <laughs> oh man, that was pretty funny. 
Um, I wouldn't be surprised if this actually opens up uh, tomorrow or Monday. Don't. I would not be surprised by the time I upload this. So uh, you'll probably see a little edit. Who knows? <laughs> All right, just did earlier Montu, and gotta say, that was a great, great, great coaster. Especially sitting on the back row on the end seat. That was a lot of fun. That definitely shows you, you know, Bush Gardens really does take care of Montu very good. So, I recommend you do it in the back row, end seat for sure. That is where you get an extra bit of whip. Does not matter. Left or right side does not matter at all. Well, guys, that'll do it for today's visit over at Bush Gardens, Tampa. It's just getting a little too hot out there. And you know what happens when it gets too hot? You get tired a little too quicker. So I'll call it a day for here at Bush Gardens, Tampa. Thank you guys for watching. If you like, sure give a like, comment your thoughts. Follow everything that's been in the video. If you're brand new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. If you want to see more videos like this, hit the bell notification for future uploads. Until then, thank you guys for watching. This is Dylan from Wind Coasters signing off.